like this summer cap. We about to take a look at that and see. All right, we are going into the summer months very soon. So let's get some predictions going. Let's see what can you expect this summer. Let's see what could be happening for you guys this summer. All right, Cappy. All right, Cap. We about to see what you can expect this summer. We about to see, we about to see. Oh, I hope you guys have an amazing summer. Sending you all positive vibes, positive energy. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node placements. All right, if you have Capricorn in any of those placements, these messages are for you. Take what you wish and leave what you're not feeling for another Capricorn out there. Everything may not resonate, okay? May not pick up on all your energy. All the messages may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Make sure to check out your moon, your Venus, and rising placement as well. All right, Cappy, let's see what's going on this summer for you guys. Summer months for Capricorn. What can they expect this summer? Spirit, what messages do you have for the zodiac sign of Capricorn? What can Capricorn expect this summer? I'm using the Rachel True deck. If anybody was wondering what deck I'm using today, I'm using the Rachel True deck. I should say tonight, right? Because it is nighttime. What's up, y'all? Last shuffle for Capricorn. What can they expect this summer? Ashes everywhere. <laughs> these ashes is everywhere. Don't mind these ashes all over my table, y'all. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups here and the Sun card. Very nice. All right, let's see what else. The Wheel of Fortune. Capricorn. Yes, baby. This is what I like to see. You know, because for a minute last year, all y'all messages seemed to be very, very negative. And somebody had even brought it to my attention. Like, yo, all your Capricorn messages be so negative. And I'm just like, I can't help what the fuck come out, right? Capricorn, this is great. So far, so good. All right. We got the Eight of Cups here, followed by the Sun card, followed by the Wheel of Fortune. Very, very good energy, Cap. Um, I really feel like a lot of you are walking away from something that wasn't serving you for your highest good it wasn't serving you for your highest good so you out you're walking away from this this is definitely you literally traveling and getting away from something or someone or this could just be you energetically disconnecting from a situation or a person but you're going to be very happy once you do that i see you being happy and i see fortunate times ahead for you i see things working out in your favor i see um, life getting better, basically. You becoming happier and life getting better for you once you release what's not for you. This talks about you releasing what isn't for you. We have the lover's card here and the ace of pentacles reverse. You releasing what isn't for you is going to create a lot of happiness in your life. It's going to create a lot of happiness in your world is what I just heard. I definitely feel like this has to do with you rejecting an offer, but your rejection is definitely making you happier. Okay, you rejecting this offer is making you happier. Somebody else may not be happy. The person on the receiving end of your rejection may not be happy. But this is all about you, Kat. You are happy. Point blank, period. Yeah, I told you, somebody else may not be happy. what I just say? So you could be breaking somebody's damn heart this summer, okay? But we got the three of swords. So somebody is heartbroken, but you choosing yourself. You putting yourself first. You putting your feelings uh, first, you put in the things that you want first. You put yourself first. And it's about time that you've done this. Is what I'm really feeling from this energy. It's been a long time coming since you put your needs first. And you're going to be very happy that you chose to do so. Because something was just wrong here. Justice reverse. Something was just foul here. Okay? With this justice reverse. Some of y'all could be dealing with Libras or Geminis. I have Leo energy here too. But I feel like you was working really hard you know, to make things work here with this person or this situation and you over it. 
princess of pentacles in the reverse there you are cat and we have the chariot there you are traveling moving forward in a new direction the chariot and the eight of cups it don't get any more clear than that. You are moving forward in a new direction that's going to make you happy, that's going to turn your world around for the better. Things are going to be looking up for you. So a lot of you have been going through a difficult time because you've been entertaining BS. You're no longer entertaining BS, and you're going to see the results very quickly. I'm getting that this is going to happen very quickly. The minute that you fully detach from this situation, this person, you're going to see everything starts to manifest the way that you want it to. Things are just going to start to flow to you. Great things are going to start to flow to you without you feeling like, you know, you're doing the most, you're struggling, you're overextending yourself, you're exhausted, you're overworking. Like, no, you're going to feel like things are just flowing. Like, it's a constant flow of abundance is what I'm getting here. Very nice energy, Cap. Yes. Okay, so shout outs to y'all this summer. All right, for real. I mean, this is really good here. Not good for somebody else, but good for you. I really do feel like a lot of you are going to be breaking someone's heart because you're going to be rejecting them. And this person may feel like you're a soulmate of theirs with this lover's card. It could be a Gemini for some of you, possibly. Lovers is Gemini energy. But this person could really feel like y'all have a strong soulmate connection. But it doesn't matter to you at this point anymore. You know, not to say it don't matter, but your feelings matter more. You're putting yourself first. That's the main message here is that you're putting yourself first. Okay. We have the three of pentacles here and the eight of swords reversed. Hmm. King of cups. Somebody's going to be professing their love to you, but this person is just codependent. This is the person that you're choosing to walk away from, okay? This person is codependent. We have the King of Cups here and the Nine of Cups reversed. Some of you could be dealing with Geminis and some of you could be dealing with a water sign or a Libra, okay? I got Gemini, Libra, and I got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Some of y'all dealing with a water sign, a Libra, or a Gemini. But whoever you're dealing with, this person is showing up as someone that has a lot of feelings for you. This person is showing up as someone that could be expressing a lot of emotion, okay? This is someone coming towards you with um, some form of emotional expression, okay? A lot of emotions coming from this person, but they are emotionally codependent, okay? They are. And we have the Empress here and the Queen of Wands in a reverse here. This person... Why is the Empress and the Queen of Wands in the reverse here? These are two different women here. Two different kind of women here. I'm getting two feminine energies that are the complete opposite. A Queen of Wands in the reverse and an Empress. So that's somebody that's respectable and then somebody else that isn't respectable. And we have the Death card and a Magician reverse. Okay, Gemini, Virgo, Libra, Sagittarius, and Scorpio energy here. Those signs could be very significant to some of y'all out there. This person is manipulative. This person is still holding on to someone from their past as well. So that's another thing that you need to be mindful of. Whoever this person is that y'all are walking away from, one, they're emotionally codependent, meaning that they need to have somebody at all times. This is somebody that doesn't want to be alone. They're uncomfortable alone. They don't know how to be alone. They need somebody around, even if that somebody is not somebody that they truly want to invest in, okay? This person is also still attached to someone from their past. They're emotionally still attached to someone from their past. And this person is emotionally manipulative as well. This is a manipulator. You guys are dealing with a manipulator. So this person is going to tell you that they're heartbroken by your decision to separate from them. But really, they're just heartbroken because one, they don't have this past person. And two, they don't have you neither. This is somebody that's emotionally codependent. You got to keep that in mind. So this person is going to display that they are heartbroken because they have nobody at this point. I feel like you were their last resort here. And, you know, they may have felt like you were a safe place to go to. You were a safe space. A lot of y'all could have been back and forth with this person for some time now. And so they felt like you were a safe place to go to. They could always return to you if need be. Because this is somebody that needs energy. This person is an energy vampire. That's what I'm getting from their energy. The magician reverse, nine of cups reverse, this king of cups here. This person is an energy vampire. So they need their supply. And you rejecting them, they basically feel like they have no supply. And that results to them feeling like they're heartbroken. 
But this isn't someone that's heartbroken because they genuinely, genuinely love you or anyone else for that matter. This is someone that's heartbroken because they don't have that supply, okay? This person sucks the life out of people here. And things are going to look really good for you. Things are looking up for you once you separate from this person. Yeah, okay. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. And the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody that's not respecting your boundaries either. Okay, this person is showing up as the Emperor Reverse. Very controlling person. This person could have an Aries Venus is what I'm hearing. Okay, very specific, but that's what I'm hearing. That'll be double confirmation for somebody out there. But this person is very, very controlling. Okay, this is somebody that's not going to respect your boundaries. This is somebody that is going to try to force you to talk to them. This is somebody that's going to try to force you to be with them. Force you, you know? You could be blatantly rejecting this person with this Ace of Pentacles reverse and this Eight of Cups, but this is somebody that's still going to continuously push, 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 push because, again, they need that supply. They're codependent. You two are not on the same page, which is why the Two of Cups in the reverse is here, too, at the bottom of the deck. This is no equal give and take situation. Like I had already said, this is someone that sucks the life out of people. This is someone that is an energy vampire. They just need their supply. They're running out. King of Pentacles in the reverse just clarifies what I'm saying. This is someone that doesn't have a solid offer. This is someone that can't even, you know, do anything for you. And I don't mean in a financial way, but just, you know... A solid offer as someone that's going to be stable, just a stable partner all around the board. There's a lot of instability here when it comes to this person. And we have the Princess of Swords reverse. Capricorn, you could have strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart somewhere. But even if you don't, you're being very smart in this situation. I'm getting a lot of air energy here, a lot of cerebral energy, okay? You guys are really, really sitting back and looking at the pros and cons of dealing with this person. And the cons outweigh the pros, okay? The bad outweighs the good. And so this is why you're showing up as the Eight of Cups here and the Ace of Pentacles reverse. You have nothing to give to this person, okay? Princess of Pentacles reverse and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. You both are mirroring each other and there's no solid offers being made. You don't need the headache. Okay, you already did enough overthinking. You already played this situation back and forth in your head. Some of you even ran this situation by a few people. Could be close friends, family that you've talked to about this person, about this situation. But you've definitely been up in your head about this situation for some time now. This has been a long time coming. The world reverse. How long is this cycle going to continue? As long as you allow it to. And that's why I feel like you finally put your foot down. Because if you leave it up to this person, you'll be dealing with them for five more years, six more years, seven more years, and so on and so forth. So you finally put an end to this Ace of Cups reverse here. This person will be showing you a lot of attention at some point. But again, that is because this person needs some supply here, okay? This person needs a lot of supply here, emotional supply. This is somebody that is unhappy when they're not dealing with someone. This is not someone that's loving. This is someone that wants you out of control. This is someone that looks at people as um, possessions. And they view people, um, they look at people um, as like um, like they're disposable. You know what I'm saying? They, they just use people up. This is the type of person that I'm picking up on. So, yeah, no more of that. Yeah, Ten of Wands reverse. Some of y'all could have even tried to live with this person, and that's not working out either. So maybe you fucking leaving the house this summer. You know, a lot of y'all could be moving away from this person this summer. I'm really getting that. Some of y'all was living with this person, and you will either be relocating, moving out, or you're putting this person the hell out. All right? I really do see that. And you're going to feel so good once you do that. Like, I really want to stress to y'all that this is the best decision that you can make. Because with the Sun card, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Wands reverse, it's like you have a breath of fresh air. You feel free. You feel new. You feel relieved. It's like the negative energy is clear. The stress is has gone away, you know? Like the anxiety is over. Like that's what I'm really getting here. So you feeling like a brand new person with a clear head here. Peace of mind is really what I'm getting. So Capricorn, your summer, you're going to have a peace of mind. You're making a real uh, life-changing decision here by finally letting this go. But it's a peace of mind that's following it. And it's nothing like a peace of mind. 
Okay, we have the Prince of Cups here. I told you this person going to be sweating you. This, this same person that we talking about is going to come your way. But there you are, Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. That's your energy. You are in the reverse because you have nothing to give to this person. Why? Because you know that this person is the King of Pentacles reverse. And you know that this person doesn't respect your boundaries. I feel like for many of you, you're going to be turned off by this person because... They're not respecting your boundaries. Like this person is not even playing this smart. Instead of just giving you your space, you know, just holding that down, holding that L down. Because I really feel like y'all rejecting this person. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're not beating around the bush. You're simply not going for it at this point in time. But because they're not respecting your boundaries, it's like they are really messing up any chance, any small chance that they may have had of getting you back or being with you, right? They messing that chance up because they being pushy. They're not respecting your boundaries. It's like, what the hell? Like, this person, is, they got to take no for an answer. Like, this is somebody that y'all, I'm getting harassment here. I'm really feeling that from this person. You know, that is, that's legal. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really wanted to really take that next step you could really be uh you could really tell the authorities that this person is harassing you okay because i'm really getting that pushy energy like somebody that is harassing you yeah queen of swords reverse i'm telling you this person's gonna piss you off i can't make this shit up princess of swords reverse and the queen of swords reverse you are literally gonna get pissed off and agitated by this person because you already cried they already um hurt you in the past you're over this your decision is final so why don't they just get it why can't they understand that you want nothing to do with them or the situation five of pentacles here you are abandoning this situation a lot of y'all gonna just have to ghost this person some of y'all just gonna have to ignore this person because they're not respecting your wishes this person is trying to force you to talk to them, force you to see them, force you to be with them. Yeah, and you're not going for it, cat. You're not going for it. Yeah, this person is coming in very quickly here. They could have strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. I'm getting strong air and I'm getting strong water, okay? Some of y'all dealing with an air sign. Others of you are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But whoever this is, they literally don't respect your boundaries whatsoever, but the point of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, is that you're going to have a good summer because you're putting your damn self first. You have a lot of happiness here and great opportunities. Let's see what's happening with this Wheel of Fortune, though. Okay? Enough about this person. Let's talk about what's happening. What good is happening for you guys this summer with this Wheel of Fortune? What good things can Capricorn expect this summer? Let's talk about that. Enough about that person, right, Cap? Let's talk about something else for you guys this summer. What else could you expect this summer, Cap? Clarify this Wheel of Fortune. Capricorn is putting themselves first this summer. They're choosing themselves this summer. Putting their feelings first this summer. Putting themselves first. Great things will follow for them. What great things do they have to look forward to? Let's do two more shuffles for that, Spirit. What great things does Capricorn have to look forward to? Being that they're putting them, themselves first. Y'all putting yourselves first, so let's see what's happening. Great things happen when you, when you put yourself first, right, Cap? Okay, so we have three of wands in the reverse. No longer waiting on anything. It's either here or it's not here. You're not waiting. Yeah, because you're the queen of pentacles. Exactly. There you are, Cap. Queen of Pentacles, that's your energy all day, every day. And you in the upright, love to see it, okay? I feel like you took your power back, especially for those of you that was in a third-party situation. You took your damn power back. You're not involved in no third-party situation this summer. You had enough of that shit because you knew that it was stagnant. And you knew it wasn't going anywhere. The chair reverse. So what you guys have to look forward to is abundance. I'm also seeing somebody here working on their body. So, yes, Capricorn, summer body, all right? I feel like a lot of y'all, y'all already started working on your summer bodies. And some of y'all just going to really be active this summer. I feel like you're going to be going out, being active, okay? Wearing a lot of active wear, okay? Yoga pants, you know, stretch shorts, spandex shorts, biker shorts, what have you. I really do feel like a lot of y'all are going to be in, like, some basics, but looking real cute and being active, all right? 
Maybe you're going to be wearing some skims, okay? Skims is real cute. Those are like the cutest basics with the nicest colors, right? I love skims. But either way, I am getting that energy of you being uh, very active, going to the gym, hiking, going for walks. You know, I'm really seeing you out here looking cute. Y'all look cute. A lot of y'all like to wear... um. Not ankle socks, but like you like to wear socks that come up a little bit high. You look cute, whoever you are. I don't know. That's for somebody out there. Somebody likes to wear socks that's a little bit longer, but you look real cute. Yeah. Okay. So we have the tower card here. Clarify the tower. Ace of Swords. Something is ending. It's final. Again, cutting the cord. King of Pentacles here, Ace of Wands reverse. You do not want this person. This person's gonna tell y'all that y'all that they're heartbroken. Capricorn, somebody's heartbroken because you ain't giving them none anymore. All right. I'ma just I'ma just tell y'all what it is. Somebody here is in their feelings. They're gonna be feeling heartbroken. There go that three of swords again. Capricorn, this is not you heartbroken. I wanna just really clarify that for y'all because this is the second time the three of swords came out, and I know some of y'all may be like Girl, if I'm going to be hurt, just tell me. No, it's not you. It's someone else's energy, okay? It's the person that you're rejecting. So, tower card for you and this person. Again, they're showing up as someone that's heartbroken. But I'm getting a message now that this person is heartbroken and in their feelings because you don't want to sleep with them. You don't want to sleep with this person. Uh-uh. You're not, you're not with it, okay? Some of y'all are completely turned off. This person doesn't do it for you anymore. And others are you just simply not with it. You just, you know, why not? Because I said so. Because I don't want to. You know, that's why. That could be your explanation. As simple as that. Okay, the Fool card. Aries energy, Leo energy. Some of y'all have somebody coming towards y'all. Oh, this person don't even know how to... Oh, this person don't even know how to please you. Um, I'm getting a bugaboo. I keep getting that. Not respecting your boundaries. Somebody that's a bugaboo. Somebody that you're walking away from, like we said before. Also, Capricorn, be mindful of unwanted, um, unexpected pregnancies, okay? I don't know where this is coming from. I'm getting it out of nowhere right now. I see that some of y'all could have like an unwanted, unexpected pregnancy, and that shit going to have you up in your head. That's going to have you stressed out. That's going to have you worried. Um, so for those of you that's actually going to be um, intimate with somebody that you actually want, because I'm seeing here, whoever this is, you're turning them down when it comes to being intimate with them. But for some of you to get that message that you may have a pregnancy scare, I want you to really, really understand that, you know, <sighs> wrap it up. Like, I don't know. Y'all got to wrap it up. <laughs> like, because I'm really seeing that for some of y'all pregnancy, uh, pregnancy scare here. Yeah. So, those of you that's, you know, having fun, just be safe. Be careful. Be cautious. Okay. Unexpected, unwanted pregnancy. Okay, nine of cups, emotionally fulfilled. That's another good thing you could have, you have to look forward to is you being happy, happy and content with yourself. Yeah, and you're not taking no bullshit from anybody, queen of swords. You're not taking bullshit from any uh, anybody that wants to pursue you that's not really about it. You don't want any half-ass offers. You are putting your foot down. And I feel like this is a big thing for a lot of you because you haven't always been that way in the past. So for this message to come out like this, I'm really feeling like this is like you being a brand new person and really taking yourself seriously to the point where it's like, no, I will not make an exception for anybody. I will not hold on to something that stresses me out because of the potential I may see. A lot of y'all are just moving based on the reality of the situation. Fuck staying with somebody because of the potential that you see. The potential has led you nowhere, you know? So it's like, I'm not doing that anymore. You want different, you gotta do different, you gotta move different. Capricorn, you're moving different this summer because you want a fucking emperor. You don't want somebody that's emotionally manipulative, an energy vampire, emotionally codependent, that's bothering you and not respecting your fucking boundaries. You want an emperor, somebody that's going to be um, 
stable, somebody that's going to match your energy. Because again, you are the queen of pentacles. So it's only right that you have a king of pentacles and an emperor. Okay. That's what you want. And that's what you're going to get. You want to know why you're going to get that? Because you're taking yourself seriously and you're putting your foot down. The minute that you start to take yourself seriously, the way I see that a lot of you are, that's when you start to manifest what you truly want in your life. Because that's basically you signaling out to the universe, hey, I'm not going to tolerate or accept anything less than what I deserve. And so the universe is only going to be like, okay, cool. Let's send Capricorn what they really want. Because they're showing and proving to us like, listen, she, I'm not going to take this bullshit anymore. Like, you're proving to the universe. You're proving to your spirit guides. You're sending that energy out into the universe where you're raising your vibration so you're attracting better. I hope that that makes sense. I'm trying to simplify it the best way that I can. But that's what I'm really getting for y'all. So, good shit. Good shit, good shit. Let's take a look at your um, career and finances. Capricorn, I really feel like I talked to y'all for a long time i don't know i feel like other people's summer message wasn't really that long but you know somebody needs to hear this some of y'all out here really needed to hear this and i'm proud of you cap you should be proud of yourself too it's good when you take yourself seriously there go that queen of pentacles again there you are cap money gonna be looking good for y'all this summer yep uh queen of pentacles here and the seven of cups okay can y'all see that queen of pentacles seven of cups you're definitely going to have multiple sources of income, okay? Some of y'all are getting multiple sources of income. Some of y'all could have just recently moved. You're going to be redecorating your home. For others of you, you are about to move, okay? You could be moving this summer and fixing your home up really nicely. Others of you have already moved, but you're still furnishing your place. You're still fixing it up. But you're going to have enough money to make it look the way you want. You're also going to have enough money to really do what you want to do. For those of you that are in a family union, okay, those of you that have children, those of you that may even be married, okay, you share a home with someone, you have a family, you and your family are going to be taken care of is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, you're going to be taken care of. A lot of y'all are stacking y'all paper this summer. Y'all stacking y'all bread. Capricorn, that's your energy right here. Look at your sign right here, Capricorn, sun. Okay, four of pentacles is your energy. Capricorn, things look really good for you. Really, really good. Especially those of you that have Pisces Venus or Pisces Mercury. You're going to have a really, really, really good, um, good summer when it comes to your finances. All right. Your home feels like a sanctuary, as it should. You know what I'm saying? You feel good. You feel really good, Cap, and I'm happy for you. Let me see. I just heard my light bill is too high. So some of y'all feel like your light bill is too high. Turn them damn lights or put some candles. <laughs> right? Light some candles and turn them damn lights out. Stop playing. Some of y'all said your light bill is too high. You know, they have those um, LED lights everywhere now. You can buy them in Target, any department store. They have those LED lights now where you could just like, you could kind of just stick them on the wall, which is good because it doesn't use up any electricity. Trust me, I know, because <laughs> I am the bargain queen. All right, so we have the King of Swords reverse here, Page of Pentacles in the reverse, Faith card in the reverse, Page of Wands, the Fool card, the High Priestess. Hmm. You need to trust your intuition. You do. Um, a lot of y'all, there go that Wheel of Fortune again. Ooh, Capricorn. Whole different deck. We got the Wheel of Fortune again. So when I tell you that you're going to have a good summer, trust your girl on this one. You're going to have a good summer. You're going to see that things are manifesting for you. Things are really exciting for you. You're going to be taking a new leap of faith, okay? And you're going to be trusting your intuition. Don't let anybody uh, speak fear into your plans, okay? Because that's what I'm really seeing. I'm seeing somebody that's low-key a hater, somebody that's side-eyeing you that could be speaking fear into your plans. Fuck that. Don't tell nobody what you're planning, what you got going on. Just pop out. Just do that shit, okay? And also, you need to trust your intuition. Like I was saying, a lot of y'all don't trust your intuition. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? Okay, don't tell this person shit. 
Do not tell this Taurus nothing. If you got a Taurus or an Aquarius that always want to know your next moves, you need to be mindful of that person. Some of y'all really have a Taurus or an Aquarius around y'all that y'all can't trust. This person just wants to know your next moves so that they can gossip about you. And they also want to know what the hell you doing so that they can try to project fear into you from not, until you, you know, they could project fear so that you won't do it. So that they could block that from happening so you won't actually follow through with it. It's like somebody that's mad because you're going to get a car. Like, and you tell this person, like, yo, I'm going to get such and such kind of car. And it's a luxury car, right? It's a beautiful car. And that person is jealous, right? Maybe it's a car that they want and they can't afford it. And they don't want you to have it, you know? Just stupid jealous shit. You know how people could be. This person is going to tell you, like, oh, you know, don't get that car. Like, you're going to crash it or, you know, gas is so high now. That car takes so much gas. Like, this is the type of person that will say any and everything to just kind of, like, throw salt, throw shade. Like, no. Keep your fucking plans to yourself. Yeah, the towel. I feel like you are. You're going to stop being this person's friend. A lot of y'all going to stop being this person's friend or y'all just going to stop telling this person shit because they're not happy for you. Okay? Others of you... You're going to just be keeping a lot of things to yourself. Yeah, so you definitely removing people from your life. Fake-ass friends, you know? People that's not genuinely happy for you, you definitely dodging them. And I would say that that's good here. But yeah, trust your intuition. Finances look looking good. You're saving. You're doing good things. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, you have something new here. And somebody here cannot be trusted. I'm getting that. It's an Aquarius. Somebody is an Aquarius or a Taurus, or somebody here has an Aquarius moon, but you cannot trust this person. Seven of Swords to the Five of Swords. Somebody is very jealous of you, Capricorn, because you just keep winning. You're so happy. This is somebody that don't even have money, okay? That's another reason why they're jealous of you. Queen of Swords reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, okay? The justice card, justice will be served. It could be an Aquarius, okay? It could be a Gemini or a Libra. I'm getting strong air from this person. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Taurus that's fucking hating on my Capricorns. And this person is hating because they're not abundant. And you are. And you just keep getting brand new opportunities. You keep getting everything that you want. And you're extremely happy. And this person is not happy for you. For some of you, like I said, it's a fake-ass friend. And so you're going to cut that person off once and for all. Because they watching your pockets, they gossiping about you, and they jealous. And they trying to speak fair into your plans. And you just simply don't have time for that, Capricorn. You got great things happening for you this summer. Okay? So remove the fake friends. Remove the fake lovers. Remove all the fakeness from your life and carry on and be happy, okay? I hope this message resonated and helped you guys. I hope you have a great summer, Cap. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.